Isaiah chapter 34, King James Version. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken. Ye people, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that comfort of it. For the indignation of the Almighty to rise upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He has totally destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their sting shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Edomia, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Almighty twice is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Almighty Tuai had a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Edomia. And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Almighty to his vengeance, and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day, the smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste, none shall pass through it forever and ever. But the comrade and the beaten shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and it shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all her princes shall be nothing. And thorn shall come up in her palaces, needles and brambles in their fortresses thereof, and it shall be an a habitation of dragons and a cot for owls. The wild beast of the desert shall also meet with the wild beast of the island, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. They shall the great the great owl make her rest a nest and lay and hush and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one will her mate. Seek ye out of the book of the Almighty Torahi and read. No one of this shall fail, none shall one her mate, for my mouth it has commanded, and his spirit it has gathered them, and he has cast the lot for them, and his hand has divided it into them by line, they shall possess it.
forever from generation to generation shall they dwell therein.